In this video, I'm going to show you how to serve a website from your ESP8266 module. For this video, you need to be able to send and receive data from your ESP and display it in your computer. So if you have an FTDI cable, you can watch this video to learn how to do that using the FTDI cable. If you have an Arduino, you can go ahead and watch this video to see how to connect your Arduino to the ESP and how to get some software that will allow you to send and receive data from your ESP8266. So these two videos are in my channel. I will post the links to them in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my module. Now I'm going to configure my module as both a station and an access point. Now let's make it be able to have multiple connections. And be a server on port 80. Let's get the IP address of the module. Notice that I have two IP address. One is my access point IP address. The other one is my station IP address. The station IP address means that this is the IP address assigned to the module by the router where it's connected to. Now from my PC, I'm going to connect to the same network as, as my ESP. Since I made it an access point, I can use it as a router and connect to it directly. So if you browse for your available Wi-Fi connections, you're gonna find one that says ESP. Go ahead and connect to that one. And now in a browser, we can go ahead and visit the IP address of the module and append port 80 to it. So notice that as soon as I went to that page, my ESP sent back this response, which says that I have a connection it always sends plus IPD whenever there's a connection available. Notice that my web page is still loading. That means that uh, it's waiting for me to close a connection from the ESP. So now that I am connected to my ESP, I need to tell it how many bytes of data I'm going to send to it. So I will be sending 29 bytes of data and I will show you why in a moment. So after I send this command, I get this response. So I get the greater than symbol. The 29 bytes of data that I'm sending are these HTML code tags. So if you count them, they are 29 and they are going to say the world's hello and world and the world hello is going to be in a larger font than world so i'm going to go ahead and send that data notice that as soon as i sent it i get hello and world as expected in my browser i then have to close the connection notice that my website is still loading so go ahead and send this command to close the connection and my connection is closed so this text is coming from my ESP8266 now I realize that at this point your ESP is not connected to the internet so if you were to visit this IP address from your phone or any other PC that is not connected to the same network then you would not be able to see hello world if you want to allow access to your module from the internet 
you need to configure your router so go ahead and connect to your internet router and it should be the same router where you have your ESP connected in uh, this video I show you how to connect to an internet router so go ahead and do those steps it's basically using the AT plus CWJAP command so once you have your ESP connected to the router like I said you're going to get this other IP address when you send this command so to go to your router configuration from your PC connect to the router go ahead and search for network click on network go ahead and right click on your network infra infrastructure device and click on view device web page that is going to take you to your router's login window so I am actually already logged into my router but if you're not logged in it's gonna ask you to log in and this just varies by router but uh, in the case for my router if I go to firewall virtual servers I can add a server so it's gonna ask for an inbound port and a local port just go ahead and type 80 on both since if you recall we had to configure the uh, ESP on port 80 and the private IP address go ahead and use the IP address that returns from this command so this is the IP address that uh, my router assigned to my ESP so like I said uh, this is going to vary by router I cannot show you for your specific router you're gonna have to find out the settings for that but remember the goal is to find some uh, type of option that allows you to make your uh, this IP address public once you have done that you want to go to Google and find your IP address you can just type what's my IP address or my IP address so this is my IP address and when I visit it from any computer or any device that's connected to the internet I get this website that's it for this video don't forget to subscribe and like thank you for watching